If you're responsible for a dog, you must ensure it behaves appropriately in public. If you or the dog owner needs assistance with training, consider contacting a professional dog trainer. A dog is considered under control if it is on a lead held by someone capable of restraining it. For example, a large dog would not be under control if its lead were held by a child unable to restrain it if it pulled against the lead. Dogs do not need to be leashed at all times, but they must be on a lead in designated pedestrian zones and on land where livestock is present. Councils have bylaws indicating areas where leashing is required, such as in public parks. As a dog owner, you are responsible for its behavior at home and in public. You should always take steps to ensure interactions with other dogs and people, especially children, are safe. It is an offense to allow a dog to attack or cause serious injury to a person or livestock or to behave in a way that makes a person fear an attack. Dangerous dogs may be seized by the council dog warden and their owners may be prosecuted. The dogs may be destroyed if a magistrate considers them a danger to the public. In addition to any court-imposed conditions where a dog has attacked a person or worried livestock, a council dog warden can impose similar conditions for certain breaches of the dog's order, regardless of whether you are prosecuted. If a dog has strayed, attacked a person, livestock or another pet, or been out of control on specific roads or on land with livestock, a dog warden may issue a notice requiring you to keep the dog muzzled when in a public place under control, on a lead held by someone strong enough to restrain it, in a public place securely confined in a building yard or other enclosure when not under control, away from any specific or type of place neutered, if male, within 30 days of the notice coming into effect, the notice may also require you to complete a specific training course within six months. Failing to comply with these conditions and not taking all reasonable steps to ensure the condition is met constitutes an offence punishable by a fine of up to £2,500. After six months from issuing the notice imposing a control condition or conditions, you can ask the issuing council to review the conditions. You can also formally appeal against any control condition to a magistrate's court. Legal advice should be sought regarding procedures for such an appeal. If a control condition is issued for your dog, you must inform the issuing council if you plan to sell or give away the dog. You must also provide the council with the name and address of the recipient. Failure to do so is an offence punishable by a fine of up to £1,000. Dog attacks and penalties for owners. An attack is defined as the dog behaving in a way that makes a person fear they might be attacked. The dog does not need to bite someone for you to commit an offence. Aggressive or threatening behaviour may lead to prosecution. Offences are punishable by up to six months imprisonment and a £5,000 fine. If the dog injures the person attacked, you could be sentenced to two years imprisonment and a £5,000 fine. If the dog worries livestock, you are guilty of an offence punishable by a fine of up to £1,000. Worrying livestock includes chasing livestock in a way that could reasonably be expected to cause suffering to the animals or a financial loss to their owner. If the dog attacks and injures another person's pet, you are guilty of an offence punishable by a fine of up to £1,000. Deliberately setting the dog on livestock or another person's pet could result in a fine of up to £2,500. If the dog has attacked a person or worried livestock, a court may order the dog to be destroyed. Fixed penalties. Certain offences carry fixed penalties, providing an alternative to prosecution. A dog warden may offer a fixed penalty instead of going to court. You can choose not to pay the fixed penalty and have the matter dealt with in court. Offences eligible for a fixed penalty include keeping a dog without a license, allowing a dog to stray, failing to keep a dog under control on certain roads and where livestock is present, failing to display identification information on a collar or tag, failing to inform the council of selling or giving away a dog under a control condition, and violating any control condition. The default fixed penalty level is £75, although a council may set its own level between £50 and £80 with potential discounts for early payment. Enforcement. An authorised council officer may seize a dog without a warrant in a public place or on any land where the dog appears to be attacking a person. The officer may detain the dog until the relevant court case concludes. Welfare organisations or charities have no powers under the dog's order, although councils may arrange with animal charities to provide dog pound facilities.
places to walk your dog, forests, nature reserves, country parks, parks and green spaces. If your dog fouls in a public place, you should clean up the mess. Find out more dog fouling, more useful links, dogs dog fouling, dealing with dogs that worry livestock. The Dogs NI Order 1983.